comic book fanboy and ally, Dan Umthen. This has been a rough week, and a rough year, and an increasingly rough decade. Hate and bigotry and violence, like we saw earlier this week and see all too frequently around the world, whether it's at the hands of a terrorist or someone who conveniently doesn't like to think of themselves as a terrorist, is unacceptable, and deep down everyone knows that it is evil and that it cannot be tolerated, no matter the ideology that excuses it. I understand I'm on a little bit of a soapbox, but as long as you're watching this, you're in my basement, in my house, and my house is in a place where I like to excuse the idea of hate of any kind for any reason. I'm a fan of comics, and I'm proud to be part of a fandom that's inclusive, cosplay and nerdery in general, because when I go to cons, when I go to comic book stores, when I go to bookstores, I see people who are Christian and Muslim, I see people who are gay and straight, I see people who are black, white, Asian, and possibly a few Martians in disguise, or at least I hope so. I believe that fiction speaks to the best part of us, and that comics and movies do so in a very raw way, and they're very important for that reason. I love that the fandom that I participate in is increasingly tolerant, it's increasingly diverse, and it's increasingly inclusive in the best of ways. And that this fandom isn't something that's a blank slate, but instead a mirror, something that you can use to reflect what you see in yourself and the world around you. That you can go to a con, you can read, you can participate in drink and draws and things like that, and you can be loved, you can be accepted, and you can let your freak flag fly. I'm aware that I am a cis, white, hetero male and that I'm also hosting this thing in cargo pants, which is an article of clothing that's banned by every major world religion and hated by every reasonable person on the planet. That said, I'm not trying to co-opt this tragedy, and I'm not trying to speak for people who are genuinely affected by it, but in a spirit of positivity and love, I'm going to go ahead and go through my favorite LGBT heroes, because they don't get talked about that often, and they should be. Before we get into this, I want to warn everybody that there's about to be a whole lot of love for Young Avengers by Gillen and McKelvey. But, let's start with North Star. He's Canadian, but we can forgive that. He's a founding member of Alpha Flight and a mutant, and his twin sister, Aurora, shares the same power of flight and photonic energy projection that he has. In 1992, he came out in Alpha Flight 106, which was penned by Scott Lobdell. His alter ego, Jean-Paul Bebier, is married to his partner, Kyle Jeanadu. Renee Montoya, the question, was introduced in Batman the Animated Series, only she wasn't the question at the time. Uh, that happened in 52, but in the Batman the Animated Series she was the partner of Harvey Bullock, and she was briefly, as I said, the question, but that was retconned, and we'll see if it's been ret retconned, which hopefully it has. Batwoman. Originally introduced in 1956, Kathy Kane, uh, DC reintroduced the same character in 2006, and they announced out front that she was going to be a lesbian. And in points, they involved her with the previously aforementioned Renee Montoya. She's currently still active in Detective Comics, and the most recently critically acclaimed series that bore her name was helmed by names like Greg Rucka, J.H. Williams, and the French artist Jacques. Batwoman remains popular for all the right reasons. Billy and Teddy have excellent adventures. Billy and Teddy have bogus journeys. Billy and Teddy are great characters, and I'm sorry I couldn't not say it. They're Marvel's premier gay couple, and they have powers that they inherited. Billy from his mother, who's probably still Scarlet Witch, and uh, Teddy from his parents, who are of Kree and Skrull ancestry. The two are integral in every single version of the Young Avengers, uh, but especially in the Gillen McKelvey series, uh, which ended recently prior to Secret Wars. They're also currently active right now in New Avengers, which is written by Al Ewing. Seriously, you have to read Gillen McKelvey's Young Avengers. It's incredible. No Var. Yeah, it's the Captain Marvel of an alternate universe, just because Grant Morrison, I guess. Anyway, he likes close harmony girl groups and he's deadly with pistols. Please, just read Young Avengers already. It's incredible. Like, do it yesterday. Shatterstar. With a name like that, glitter pops right out of your mouth the second you say it. Shatterstar. Shatterstar. Introduced in X-Force. Shatterstar is from Mojo World, which isn't the same place as Mojoverse, but he's still cooler than Longshot, and I stand by that statement. Anyway, he's got a double sword thing that comes out of his sleeves now, and he's in a relationship with Mutant Richter, and he's basically the Captain Jack Harkness of the Marvel Universe, and of X-Factor. Then there's Loki. I don't think that you can call Loki transgender, but Loki's extremely gender-fluid. He's 
been pretty much everything and can be whatever he wants. Loki is Loki. Now, if the idea of a trans-Norse god bothers you at all, please consider that that's the actual original myth. Loki was the mother and father of all manner of weird stuff in Norse mythology, and still sister and brother to Thor and Balder. I like Loki because Loki is one of the most popular crossplays that are out there. Anyone can cosplay as Loki for any reason, no matter who they are, and that's a lot of fun. I know I'm missing a lot of different characters that I would probably looked over, some that maybe I don't even know about, and that's a problem. There's so many of them that aren't known. But I'm just mentioning the ones that I happen to like the most, off the top of my head. No particular order, just ones that I like. And I think that's the point. People can like what they like. And that's great. That's the great thing about comics, and that's the great thing about life.